Oh my goodness, if you knew what was going on just then. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Someone give me a sign. For the love of all that's holy in the world. <sighs> in the world, do you get it? <sighs> can you see me? Someone just... Oh, what did I do? Fashionably late. Does that mean you can see me, Lee? There I am. I'm here. Okay. Whew. That was stressful. I thought I was going to be clever and, and go to... Anyway, I've got my old phone here and I was going to do it from both phones and uh, it was just a hard old mess. Anywho, howdy, g'day, 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 g'day to those um, friends and family that are back over in Oz. Good morning, good Sunday morning to you guys and good evening to everyone on this side where I am. It's weird. It's weird. This is, I think... Is it the first solo live that I've done since I've been here? I think so. I think so. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm all sort of all over the place. Um, let's go and say hello and see who's come to join me in the hotel room. <laughs> We're not in the kitchen. We're not in the craft room. We're not at Jenny's place. We're in a hotel room. And you're all my guests. I'm sneaking you all in. Shh, don't tell it. <laughs> so let's let's uh stro stroll let's scroll where's the camera it's over here i'm not used to it okay elise hello elise hang on have i gone all the way to the top have i missed some peoples i don't know because i thought i'd seen some peoples earlier but i could be wrong oh it's going to do this to me Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, I'm not going to do it. I, I, otherwise, I'm going to go. All right, if I, if you commented at the start, it's streaming hard's bumped you off, so I'm so sorry. But anywho, Elise, hello, g'day. Um, how are you uh, liking the USA? I'm loving it. Loving it so far. Like, it is... I'm just trying to start, but I'm uh, managing my own expectations, and it is... Awesome. awesome expensive but awesome <laughs> hello tracy diamonds beans and coffee beans sheree is here it's gonna it's gonna just jump everywhere oh my goodness amber's here emma handy i'm having loads of fun jeanette bonsoir is christopher here i'm sorry but streaming arts chewed up my comments um so i don't know what's happening deborah harris neil g'day darling shelby hi Shelby, Kim's Mint, oh, Kim, Kim, Kimmel's Mint too. Hey, from England. Hey, Kim, is it Kimmel's? I'm not sure. I don't like to prison it. Oh, my gosh. Mispronounce people's names. Yeah, Christopher is here. G'day, darling. Kath is here. Hi, teething. I'm exhausted. You're teething? Oh, JJ's teething. Clean your glasses, Grace. Um, things are going wonderfully, wonderfully, wonderfully. Um, hey, hey, you. Hey, hey, you back. I miss my Jenny girl. I miss my Abby girls. Um, you missed the table set up and changed it just for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lee. Thank you, thank you, honey. Um, just watch your one open and gives you. You're so sweet. Ah, oh, she did. Oh, mm, I've got to go watch the video. I've got to go watch the video. Oh, I've been out all day, all day. So um, I wish it could be more. I wish I could give you guys the world. Um, hello, <laughs> Mickey Jor. That's how you sound when you try and imitate me. Running jokes just to let everyone in. They all think that my accent, I say so, and they say sore. So everything's with an exaggerated or, and I don't speak like that. I don't. Aussie peeps, back me up in the house. Come on. <laughs> um, oh, new comments. My goodness. Um, 
You're not in top tier. I don't know how to finagle that in, in StreamYard, unfortunately, so I'm going to be stretching a lot. Uh, Lee's done it all over again. G'day. Cheryl's here. Cynthia's here. Um, Willy Wonka's factory. If you can dream it, it is here. I'm going to scooch all the way up. Bye, bun. Bye, hun. Bye, hun. Carol saying bye. You're going to get my big mug face right up in your face. I hope you don't mind, but it's the only way I can um, read this properly. Um, Pixie and I went out shopping. I bought the best running shoes ever. They are orange. Eek. Well, you enjoy that running, Chris, because mm, no, no, it's a no for me. Not yet anyway. CC Angel, g'day, darling. And I think I've caught up. No, Gracie Jewel. <laughs> Michelle. Hi, Gracie. You're listening while I drive to visit my brother. Hey, Michelle, you drive safely, sweetheart. Now the Americans usually get our accent very wrong. I must say, Abigail was getting it on point on a few times. Um, like she was nailing it really, really well. When she wasn't trying so hard, it was just, but she's really, 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 really good. Did I say really enough? <laughs> With um, accents. So um, don't listen to them, Gracie. The Aussies have got you. <laughs> Christopher says, yo, Cheryl. Christine is here. You say so like so. Right? So, so. So, so. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying your tour around the USA, says Cynthia. I absolutely am. Even bought your... Oops, Tim Tams. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. April Campbell, g'day, honey. Creative Chris says, all the all this don't run. If you don't see me running, I would recommend that you keep up. There will be something very scary chasing me. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, yeah, that'll be me. Not chasing you. I mean, like, as in running beside you because something's chasing us. Yes. Bex here. Hope you're enjoying your time away. We miss you. Oh, guys, I am getting a little bit homesick, but I'm trying to keep myself occupied um, so that I don't have time to be homesick. So, yeah. How is Nashville? It is eye-opening. Eye-opening. Um, just finished work. It's 1.43 in the UK, so I put the highs when I fall asleep. Oh, thank you for joining in, Carol. Um let me see. Give me just, can you, you're not scary, love. I would run to you, not away from you. Oh, pumpkin. Um, is this even going to work? Probably not. Everything I'm trying to log into wants to give me a two-step verification. I can't do it. Okay. Um, Diamond Painting Peacock. Hey, Gracie. How's my favourite Aussie? Hope you're having a great time. Can't wait to hear more fun stories of US adventures. I've got a few. I'm going to lead you to running. It makes me all red and out of breath. Rochelle, hey, honey. Hey, Rochelle. I got to meet Rochelle. How are you, baby? All right. So Nashville, awesome. Uh, if uh, country capital of the USA, the plan and the hope was to get down to Memphis, but that's not going to happen. I didn't realize it was so far away. Um, but that's okay. I've had a good couple of days here. For those of you who um, saw my Insta post, I made uh, the trip out to Belmede which is the horse, um, is it a plantation, horse horse farm? And I did a tour around Belmead and it is one of these old mansions, yeah? And the reason I went out there is because I've got Chuck Pinson's Autumn at Belmead. Yeah, inspired by that place. And the other awesome thing, and I'm... I'm getting all these little videos together and, and I'm going to put it all into one big trip, 
one big video, one big video for you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure I took a picture of it. But anyway, those of you who like uh, landscape pa landscape paintings and are familiar, my my eyes are just like I actually went up to the desk and I said, "Do you have any pictures here inspired by an artist?" called Chuck Pinson, you know, in the hope that they might have had something but they didn't. However, they did have a whole bunch, and you guys would know them if you've seen them on, I think, both Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club had them, Susan Wingett. You know the one with the horses and the red barn during Christmas time? I sure as shit, I went there and I saw these pictures and it's like, I know those photos. I know those pictures. I know those paintings. And I turned around and they're all on platters and serving, the, you know, serving platters. And sure, it was all Susan Wingate. And I was like, oh, my gosh. It's so cool. So, so cool. Um, ticket to ride in January. <laughs> hey, Joanna. Joanna's here. Natalie's here. Um, what are we congratulating Chris on? Oh, Gracie, it's official. The announcement was made this week. We're about my promotion. I'm so excited. Hey! Woo -hoo! My boy got a promotion. Woo -hoo! Party up, boy. Party, party, party. Congratulations, Chris. Um, yeah, so that was that. And... So that was yesterday. Today it bucketed rain. Nashville decided to open up its pores and just let it all sweat out and we had a summer rain. Now, I don't mind summer rains because it's not cold, but it foiled my intention because I wanted to do the hop on, hop off bus around. And it's like, you know what, you girl, I'm not made of sugar, I'm not going to melt. But I didn't really relish the idea of getting on and off a bus when it was pouring rain. Um, yeah, Susan Wingett, um, Jenny, hey, thank you so much for my gift box. That was pure fun. Mwah. I've been told there's a video. I've got to go check you out now. I mean, I always check you out when I can, but I will check you. Check, check it out. I'm glad you liked it. Um, so instead of, what was I saying? Instead of going on the hop on, hop on, hop on, hop on, hop on, hop off bus, the photo that you would have seen in the thumbnail, if you if you saw it, uh, I went to the Grand Old Opry, 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 where it's a massive um, theatre room. It's actually uh, made for radio, to be honest, so I learned today. And where all the big stars, all the big knobs, once you've made it to that stage, you've made it, yeah? Like it is wowzers. And I did the backstage tour and I took a bunch of photos. We weren't allowed to take any videos, but um, we took I took a whole bunch of photos of all the um, dressing rooms and we got told who has been there, who hasn't, and, like, you know, which one Carrie Underwood prefers. And I actually took a photo of Carrie Underwood's shoes that are in a glass case and which one, like, Dolly Parton, Garth, Garth Brooks, Garth. Yeah, Garth Brooks, um, all of them, all of them, all of them. And I actually got to sit, they had one of the, I've got an itchy, you know, what, some scratching. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, all the rooms were roped off, but they had one open and we were allowed to go in there and I sat in, a chair, in the chair where the bum of so many other famous singers have sat. And I sat on it and I rubbed on it. <laughs> and it's like, here's some Gracie DNA for you. <laughs> I took a photo. <laughs> hey, Sapphires, how are you? Memorabilia is everything in Nashville. We should go to uh, Opera Land Amusement Park. Oh, I've run out of time. I leave here tomorrow. The Grand Ole Opry, yes. I didn't see anyone. I had, um, oh, you're welcome, Christopher. You're very, very welcome. Um, 
I've missed you, Christopher. Mwah. I just wanted to say I've missed you. Um, you know, Nicole Kidman lives in Nashville. Surely you know each other. We're besties. I mean, she invited me out for tonight, you know, but I said I've got to go live. My loyalties to my peeps. She did. You know, we bumped into each other. She was just walking down the street, you know, minding her own business and she tapped me on the shoulder. It's like, Gracie, hey, Aussie, mate, what are you doing tonight? You want to hang out and grab a frothy or two? I said, yeah, you know what? Thanks, but no, nah, I've got to go do a live. I've got to, I've got to talk to my peeps. I'll, I'll catch you on the flip side, though. I said, Nick, no worries. She said, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, she's gone off to do some honky-tonk with her boy, Keith. So, uh, actually, no, I shouldn't really, yeah. I mean, if it's public knowledge, it's public knowledge. Apparently, Keith Urban is had some issues and apparently he's doing really, really well. I found that out when I went to Balmead, actually. Met some lovely ladies out there. Oh, my gosh. I took some photos with them. I got them on camera and they all um, said, what did they say? They didn't say, um, I think they said g'day. I can't remember. But, yeah, we, I had a whole bunch of fun with them. These are the ladies that served in the shop. Yeah. Yes, and I went to the shops. Hush now for those of you that want to come at me. No. No. It's a, it's a fam. No. No. Oh, Cheryl, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'll take a bit of Keith any time. Actually, you know what? Don't tell Nicole. Don't tell Nicole. But the reason we're not hanging out is because Keith is popping around later. <laughs> I love you, Gracie Jure. <laughs> that place looks so haunted. Joanna, interesting you should say that. They've got most of the original furniture still in there and I'm not exaggerating. I am not exaggerating. One of the rooms is the original nursery and with the original nursery furniture and the cots and everything in there. Now, back in the day in the 1800s and as the story of the family and the history of the original family goes and so on, Many, 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 many babies passed away, you know, from from young, from young, and they passed away in the homes. And I swear to you, you know, you know, if you know, you know what that means. You know, if I kiss my mom and my dad and my brother, what that means. Uh, when I walked up to that room and I was looking in there and I was looking at the cots and I just shut my eyes and I was imagining the pitter-patter of little kids because we were told that there was original furniture and original toys and this and, like, you know, there were all the dolls and playhouses and everything. I just had goosebumps. Goosebumps. Like, I was just goosebumped. Goosebumped. And then, I, I like, you turn around from that door and because it's kind of down four or five steps and then you're looking at the steps and all the steps have got all the original notches and, and, and you know, the wear and tear of from 1800s more. I mean, the history just, I, was, I just got immersed and I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Linda, Gracie, glad to see you having a good time. It is so great that you get to do this trip. It sounds like you're making the best of it. Have great fun. Thank you. Was it a plantation? Um, it wasn't. It was a thoroughbred horse farm. So, huh, here's a fun fact. I didn't know this, and I know the name. I don't know any other information. But if you know anything about horse racing and famous horses, Sea Biscuit, the horse Sea Biscuit, I know one quite a few big races. The lineage of Sea Biscuit goes all the way back to Belmead. Um, the very, very first thoroughbred that they had on that farm is Sea Biscuit's lineage. I thought that was a really cool fun fact. Um, see, they are watching over you to get you out safely. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope so. Hope so. So I had an awesome, awesome time at Belmead yesterday. Today I went to the Grand Ole Opry and I got myself, where are they? Would you like to see me on stage? I got to stand on the circle. 
I was famous for all of 1.76 seconds. And I had a photo. Actually, let me see if I can grab it. One sec. Don't go anywhere. Oh, I'm not, I can't scooch. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. I'm on one of these um chairs that bounces. Where's me photo? Where's me famous photo? I'm going to be famous one day, people, up on that grand old Opry. You just better remember this. Me on stage. Look at that. Doing my thing. I'm trying to, oh, the, the glare. There. There I am. <sighs> sea biscuit is an incredible story. There you go. Um, can't open it, Chris, but I will after the chat. <laughs> did, did you do a Dolly Parton moment? Um, no, I saw a couple of her paintings around and it was like, oh, if only if, if she was to like open the door with her big knockers and, and like make an appearance, I would have died. I would, I would have peed my panties. I would have peed my panties. That is not a lie. Um, so after that, it was, do I stick around? Cause I had a, an opportunity to book for a show to go see it, a, a show tonight there at the Grand Old Opera. The, all these uh, artists were going to be playing. And I thought, well, I'm not going to come all the way back here. Cause it was like a 15 minute drive, but there is a shopping center or a shopping mall factory outlet, massive, huge. Jennifer was stalking me the whole way. Get out of this shop. Get out of here. Move, Grace. Like every 10 minutes I was getting notifications from Jenny <laughs> because she knows where I am for safety reasons. And she goes, get out of the shoe shop. She knew my exact location. It's like, damn. Next thing she's going to see me picking my nose. But anyway, um, and I thought, I oh, will see how I go just in case I'll buy tickets. Uh, later. Um, hey, Vanessa. Um, hang on, hang on. Oh, shoot, Cheryl. I actually told her she looked like Minnie Pearl when she had her hat on with a price tag. I learned about Minnie Pearl today. Yes, I learned the story of Minnie Pearl today. I did not know who she was from a bar of soap, but I learned that she went on stage. She had bought a hat. She forgot to take the tag off and during the performance. The tag fell down and she went and 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 every and she was embarrassed and and everyone thought it was part of the act and they loved it and so her her thing is now hats with a tag of a dollar ninety eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I bet she doesn't know Minnie Pearl played there for years. I just said that. <laughs> Not a clue. Apparently, she was the queen of. They've got they've got a, a really big um, uh, tribute to her. Um, massive paintings, and she's the queen of the comedy area of there. Like she apparently, yeah, there, there was a, there was a book there in the bookstore um, of her jokes. There was actually a cup that on the it was a mug, and there was a, a and it was some, if it wasn't ceramic, I probably would have bought it, but it was so heavy, and my luggage is already too heavy. But anyway, um, the cup on it is a hat. And off the hat is a little tag. Mm. Have you seen Dolly Land? I haven't. It's two hours from here and my time is done. Because short story long is that I traipsed around that shopping centre, traipsed and traipsed and traipsed and traipsed, so much so that my feet gave out on me and I bought a pair of shoes. Because I had to, my feet were sore. Um, hey Gracie, hey Gracie, smart. She's learning country music royalty. I am. What did Jeanette say? What did I miss, Jeanette? Jeanette always comes out with pearlers. Jenny, you might want to make more room for more of Gracie's souvenirs. I regret now reading that because you're not wrong. I'm trying to be good. I did not buy the T-shirt that I wanted from the Grand Old Opry. 
I bought just little magnets and 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 I thought, you know what, my memory, um, and even Bell Mead, even Bell Mead, you'll be pleased. Bell Mead, I decided that my souvenir was going to be this book. See? And it's got all the beautiful pictures and look, look at this place. This is the Chuck Pinson. Uh, but I think Chuck's um, got a carriage and like he, he's taken it back in time, yeah. But I stood there, guys. Do you know the goosebumps? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So that was my souvenir from Bell Mead. Oh, and I did get something else from Bell Mead. I got, see that, can you see? It's a, I know I already got one because I got one with Jenny, but I've got another one. Um, the shawl, yeah, I got that from there too. That's all. Where did I get that from? Oh, and I got that too. All right, so uh, <laughs> um, there might have been another thing that I got. And, but there's a story too. It's all justifiable. Uh, you know. Oh, let me read some more comments. Oh, oh, oh. Here's that. I know, yikes, that was a very quick sentence. Grace, you grab a moon pie and RC cola before you have to leave. I saw these moon pies. They're down there in um, Broadway. Oh, my gosh, hectic as all get out. Broadway. Broadway. Yeah, Broadway, the main the main drag. And I come to find out why. I'm here with, you know, Ms. Uh, uh, what's her name? Queen B herself. Beyonce is playing here. No wonder my my hotel tickets were tickets fees whatever prices were through the roof. Uh, I but I saw moon pies everyone. I thought, why have I heard this before? Um, there you go. Get it quicker. You can make lots of t-shirts. <laughs> a couple of years ago, there was a musician from Newfoundland who played at the Grand Old Opera. It was all over the news. Yeah, there you go. Too bad you cannot eat. Candy Goo Goo Bars are famous there. I've seen them too. So heavy. Before you leave, see if you can stop by Lester's Best Chili and Stories from the Cutest Bartenders. I'm out of here at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I ain't going to no bar. If I can pick up a moon pie and the Goo Goo stuff, um, I'll pay more for it, but I'll get it at the airport. So heavy. Yes, yes, yes. You were there. Tell me, but it's tradition. Okay. A T-shirt probably would have taken up less room. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're similar to something I can't remember. Helpful, Jen. Very, very helpful. Um, all right. So my thing to collect, I decided. Now, I'm missing because I have been to the state of Ohio and I've been to San Francisco, but I'm going to end up in San Francisco anyway on my tour when I get down to that end. But I'm missing one from Ohio so, and Louisville. I am collecting delicious name for the Opry Goo Goo Grand. Oh, Grand. Oh, oh the Opry Goo Goo. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. There you go. So where are you off to? I'm off to... Uh, I'm off to Charleston tomorrow, South Carolina. But this is what I'm collecting, guys. Look, look, look. So this one here, I, I bought this at a service station and I don't care. I don't care. I was happy when I found it and I bought it. I'm collecting caps. Oh, and they look absolutely terrible on me with my hair up like this. So I'm going to have to take oh this out and it's going to look all yucky but i don't care i got bobby pins cheryl i meant one of her aussie treats oh okay that's jenny's excuse for saying i'm gonna to have to sit there and try them all again my hair's a real yuck mess guys i'm so sorry of it you know me raw and organic all right all right, so 
Gracie girls collecting caps. Ah, better. So this one I got on our way to Ohio. Ohio. I can never say that. I can say Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I can't say Ohio. Um, so this one was my first one. America. Then I, I didn't sort of realise that I was going to do this um, until I think after I left Jenny's. And then I thought, you know what, because I was thinking magnets, keychains, and I'm doing magnets because I want them all over my fridge. And I'm thinking how many keychains can I possibly have, right? True, true. However, when I get home, I'm going to have all these up on – why do I always try and kill myself? Um, up on my wall. So here we go, Chicago. Look how pretty that is. And it's got flowers inside. You can see it all the way up my nose. <laughs> so we've got Chicago. Then a Bell Mead yesterday. I was going to get a Bell Mead one, but this one I had to get it because you know me. If I've got a Gracie Gracie bling bling, I'm going to bling bling. Look at the bling on that. Look at the bling on that. It's all bling a bling a bling a bling. And I am, where is it? This this star came off, and I, I I've got it, so I have to get some glue and put it back on. But look at the bling on it, and I love it that it's um rough here at the edge as well. Look, so it's like how like is that on point or what? And then to celebrate the fact that I'm here in Nashville, we got Nashville. So the idea is E6000. I know exactly it. I've got some. Hey, Dawn, if I haven't said hello already. And hey, Helen, I'll pass it on to Milo. Milo's all the way back home. Um, service station, don't you mean servo? Sorry, I had to. Same, same. We call it servo too. Um, oh, my God, girl, get ready. It's millionaire row. Charleston is stunning. Mm. I'm looking forward to definitely, definitely looking forward to Charleston. Um, looks like you're going to a Trump rally. That's glittery. <laughs> Love the hat, says Cynthia. Thank you. Well, that's going to be kind of my, you know, I bought this in this place, this in this place, and so on and so forth. So uh, they're my hats. I'm going to put that one on top to protect the bling bling on it when it goes packed, when it gets packed. So each each um, opportunity I get, I'm going to get myself a hat and that way I'll have a collection from everywhere that I've visited, which I thought was something a little bit special. I was thinking the same, Joe. Ah. <laughs> um, Jenny, I bought another backpack. said it once I'm not going to say it again you love the Chicago hat all right it's so like it's just me right look at the pinks and it's got that rough oh everything's backwards see it's kind of rough and um what do you call it uh not grungy Gr grungy is that the right word uh but you guys you guys if you ever have to travel I mean I'll let you know once I use it they have hat holders display but that's exciting to know. Um, check this backpack out. Now, more backpacks, more shoes, more luggage. What am I going to do with you? You're going to love me and hug me and squeeze me and love me and love me and love me. It is pretty. You should see, you should see the roll-on case that I bought. <laughs> Jenny's seen the roll in case she hasn't seen this. But I wanted to share this particular one with you guys because you're going to die because I was mucking around with it today and I was even like like shook, 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 shook. So you can see. Look, at it's nothing, right? Regular, reg, regular. True? True. I'm doing, I can't believe I'm demonstrating. <laughs> Uh, a backpack. So we've got, hang on, 
rather than me lifting, why don't we do this? We've got a zip here, right? Zip here. You guys count them. Zip there. Zip up here. Right? This is where it gets fun. This is where it gets fun. You ready? Let's open up this one. And it's your regular looking backpack, true? So you've got your, I haven't got any unmentionable showing, have I? Good. Because um, we've got boys in the room, you know, we've got to be respectful. So you can put your laptop in here or your, or your what do you call it, your iPads, so on and so forth. Uh, there's another pocket here. Oops. There's a pocket here. And there's another pocket here. This is to charge, like I'm going to connect my, once I charge it tonight, I'm going to put my battery pack in here because on the outside you can connect and, and charge your phone from the outside. Uh, and then it goes all the way to the bottom, yeah? So that, there. Pretty regular, right? Wait, is that a compression backpack? Wait, just wait. Wait, my little pet. My little petal. Wait. All right, so we're back to this, okay? Let's now open up this middle zip here. You ready? Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Watch it. Whoa! I know. I know. But look. Wait. There's more. There's so many zips here. I can't even keep up myself. Where is it? Where is it? Goodness gracious. Here it is. Look, watch. Oh, no, you're shutting it, Gracie. All right, you ready? Are you keeping up? Ready? It was like this. Now, let's open it up like this, baby. Check that out. Like, are you following? Right? But wait, there's more. I know, I know, I know. Don't wait, don't, just, 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 just wait. It's the little things. Let's go all the way and open up this side. And what do you know? That opens up too. So. We are now down to, if you can see that, this. It's out. Are you impressed? I was impressed. Hey, Mindy, Mindy. So when you open it up like this, you've got all of this space. Check it out. And then when you, there's no unmentionables there. No, we're good. And then when you open this side, again, all of this space. I shit you not. This is game changer. Game changer. <laughs> Greg's going all the way. I can't with you. <laughs> it is amazing, Cynthia. Um, very reasonably priced. It was less than 50 bucks and I got it at shoot, not JC Penny. <sighs> Was it JC Penny? Is this something that you can get at JC Penny? If only it had wings, it could fly back to Australia with her stupid news. Grace has failed to learn that the bigger the space. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, and the beauty. Look, padded, padded straps. I can't remember where I got it, but if you're travelling, quaff. And at the back, there's there's the thing to slip onto your <clears throat> onto your suitcase. Yeah, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. That bag will be just for that. Oh my gosh. Breathe, Jenny. JC Penny still open. Yes, it is. So I have I have ticked JC Penny, Hobby Lobby. Um Michaels. I went to Michaels yesterday. I went to Michaels yesterday. Uh, I bought one thing. Are you not proud? Jeannie, you got to give me some love on that one. Are you not pre one? I walked out with one thing. Um, thank you, Jennifer. I thought so. I thought so. So when you, all is said and done, and you really want to like just keep it all together, even if you've got it packed out to the max, you've got these side things. It's just awesome. I love it. And I thought, you know what? Even if it gets rejected, I want this for home anyway. Not that I get to do that many things at home travel-wise, but, you know, you never know what might happen. And I'm going to treat this as my personal bag on the airport because I can. See? I've got these side things that, oh, well, supposedly we'll keep it all together like that. That's a genius design, I guarantee you. A grandma designed it. you got to go back and read the comment that I made about your unmentionables. Oy vey. Did you fill it up? No, I haven't filled it up yet. No, it's a slip thing. Yes, you know, one of my fave stores. What did he say about my unmentionables? You want to put in gross again, sorry, I had to. Chris, we've all seen the unmentionables. Actually, I've seen yours. You did a live wearing a bra on your head. Oh, yes. Yes, you did. Um, so I love it. 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 And because I couldn't decide between this and a grey one, I've got not the same design, a different design, but a grey one. I've got a backpack finish, I've decided. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, you moving along? Would you like to see the roll-on carry case that I got? Because I quickly realised that I, I originally I wasn't going to be travelling with a um, a carry-on rolly ca um, case, okay? Because the tour doesn't allow for you to have them on the bus but I'm going to check it in underneath. She didn't hear that bra on your head. Uh, Jenny, start boxing yeah, so it can be shit. I will show you my groovy, groovy, um, you're going to love this, um, my rolly, my rolly case. Hang on. Oi, babe. This is heavy because I've already started packing it. You ready? I have a sock addiction. I love socks. Believe me, they are taking over my house. Baby, you are looking damn good. I'm not feeling it, but thank you. You ready for my case? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Check it out. Is this not just the best and the cutest? Tell me that's not just me. Like, come on. True? All right, enough about my cases. Enough about my cases. Let's talk about some other stuff that I've been doing. And that's just your normal open it up and yada, yada, yada sort of case. But I love it. Um, all right, last night I went out to dinner and I tried grits for the first time. Love them. Love them. I know some of you all out there don't like them. However, these people made them. I loved, loved, loved them. I tried to look them up. They really don't have a lot of protein in them apparently, which is unfortunate for me, which means I can't pig out on them. Um, I know. They're great. They're great. You want to see them together? Hang on. This is why I chose the colour scheme that I did because I've got a matchy, matchy everything, right? Oh. Uh, we'll do. Got the message for the person who just sent it through. Thank you. 
look, look, oh, pfft. <laughs> that just was not well at all. But check that out. You don't, oh, it's going to fall. Can you see? They look good together, right? Oh. Okay. Um, what is a grit? Is it a corn? What? I've got to educate you. It is. It's beautiful. Hey, Caden. Um, are there unmentionables in that case? Yes, they are, sir. You're going to love your pack when you get it. <laughs> grits are just ground up corn. Um, yeah, so uh, um, I had grits yesterday and I couldn't finish. It was a big dish. I feel like Joe Pesca. I know. That's my favourite movie. I told the boys. I said, we are um, my cousin. I, I have been in, in, inducted into the my cousin Vinny thing because I had grits. And my boys and I love that movie. We actually watched it together when we were in New Zealand. I love bags and shoes and jackets and scarves and socks and fun tumblers. I love all the things. Um, but it was, yeah, it's kind of like a mash potato but made with corn. So it's gritty. It's it's like it's got not crunch but texture, texture. Um yeah, were they instant grits or 20-minute grits? Oh, babes. I don't know. They had what you guys call shrimp. We call them prawns on them. So I got prawns and it was just mwah. And then it had some sort of sauce in the tire. I said, is that spicy? And they said, mm. I said, maybe put it on the side. And I put like a, a one tong of a fork in it. And I was like, mm. I'm out, done. No, glad it's on the side. So I was able to finish half of that because, you know, can't eat too much. And I decided to be a little bit adventurous and cheeky and naughty because I've had this surgery. I shouldn't really, but I wanted to indulge because I've never had one of their desserts that they had on there. I thought, you know what, I actually, you know, put a bit of makeup on and put some nicer clothes on and I actually went to a bar and I was listening to some loud, loud, some live music. There was a girl, you know, singing. And I was like, this is this is what it's all about, you know, going out and listening to some music and going out to dinner. I don't I'm, I'm fine with going out to dinner on my own. I don't mind it. You know, I'm not I'm I can do that. Um and so I thought, you know what? Do I don't I do I don't I so I left probably three quarters of my meal, I should say. And I decided to order dessert, which was key lime pie. They brought this mother mm, pie out. This thing was this tall and a wedge that was about this big. So this thing was a chunk of pie, yeah? I'm thinking it was going to be a little bitty thing like this that I was going to cut in half and so on and so forth. But anyway, they brought it out and I asked for a knife straight away because I already had a takeaway. No, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. To go. I've been told the right way to say it is it's a to-go cup or a to-go container. Um, and so I chopped it in half and I put and it's still in the fridge. Anywho. had my grits and prawns or grits and shrimp. I had about maybe a quarter of that pie. I am lucky if I made it back to the hotel. One of those two things went from here and <clears throat> That's the bathroom there. No. I'll leave it at that. Now, tonight I did an experiment. Tonight I'm staying in because after I finish live, I'm going to have a shower. I'm just going to chillax and lie in bed and try and get an early night because I've got to sit, you know, I've got to finish my packing and stuff. Now, I had the rest of the grits because I've got a microwave. You can see, no, opposite there. That's the microwave there. So I heated that up. 
And my stomach's playing up a little, little bit, so I don't know if it's that. And I'm too scared to even try and see if it's a key lime pie. So if anyone's in Nashville, close by and wants, a, it's still fresh. I brought it straight home or here and put it in the hotel. It's there. You're more than welcome to come through and pick it up. Oh, yay, yay. Um, all right, let's read some comments. Okay, let's go back and read some comments. Yes, my cousin Vinny, message for you can be after life. Fabulous, Mesh, shrimp and grits are the best. Ah, so that combination is a popular thing. I, I had no idea. I just, I thought the shrimp, at least I'll get some protein in. So, and a spoonful of almond butter for protein. Oh, I've never even had um, almond butter. Although I am becoming quite um what do you call it i'm liking almond milk sorella come stai bella hey angela um helen's asking how raven is so what are key limes different to limes i'm just asking because i've no i thought a lime is a lime is a lime right clearly maybe not um, you need a key lime pie from Florida with real key limes, says Dawn. Mm, in America, nothing is itty bitty. True. Don't even like. Wow, wow, um, wow. Thanks, Jenny. I prefer ke pecan to key limes. I've had pecan pie before. Yes, I love spicy food. I can make it very hot. Oh, takeout box. Gracie, come to Idaho. JK, JK is boring. Idaho, Idaho. I have to go look at my map. I can't remember what Idaho is. I'm falling asleep in my lap right now. Oh, Bella. Car. Joanna says triggered. What? What's triggering you, darling? <laughs> that was a shitty story, no pun intended. All the pun was intended. She blew out the national sewer system. I really did. And I've lost all my comments. Um, oh, well done, Sherry. You'll be 19 tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Caden. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just trying to see all the comments so I don't miss out. Okay. Joanna, what are you typing, woman? Woman, what are you typing? Ot on the model. People in the US drive big trucks because they are making up for something else. Oh dear. Oh my. So that's where we're up to now. I went out for lunch today with a friend from the other city I used to live in. The portion was huge. Couldn't eat it all and love me some food. Well, I can't eat a lot, so I might pigtail these. I should have done that here. Maybe I'll do that when I get to Texas. I should have pigtailed them. Done two little flats. That did come out extremely weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, happy birthday, Caden. So tomorrow is the 17th. Tomorrow, like I said, I'm flying to Charleston. Uh, the plans there are to go to where I have told you guys that I wanted to go to, which is Boone Hall Plantation. It is definite, definite bucket list. I'm trying to then, what I, um, without giving too much away, just in case the offspring are listening and working and working because it's a surprise, my next destination, the tour that I wanted to book there is booked out. Jenny, you know what I'm talking about. So I have to find something another tour or I'm going to have to skip it and go back and do it after LA. So I might be coming to Texas earlier rather than later. Um, just pardon me while I do my hair. Um, Monday is the 17th. Oh, oops. Um, there, that'll do. Yay. Thanks, Lee. You're such the hostess with the mostest. If the plans, if the plans to 
my destination that was, um, yeah, well, Jenny, it may or may not happen after South Carolina. It's going to happen, but it may not happen after South Carolina. I might have to do it after LA. In which case, I might switch things up and have a couple of days either, I haven't decided, either Florida or Savannah before heading off to Texas. So we'll see. Um, I know there's quite a few of you in, in, in Florida and I, I would only be going to one place and I haven't decided where exactly. Probably if I do take the plunge and go to Florida, I'll go to Miami because, I mean, like that's the place, is it not? Um, always forgets I'm a male. Did I say she? I know that you're a male, Lee. Did I say she? I'm sure we. Great hell. You're going to be in Texas. Maybe I'm um, thinking, well, because my plans are kind of so fluid at the moment and chopping and changing, it depends if um, my the in between South Carolina and Texas comes through or not. But I'm thinking about three or four days in Texas. Yeah. Bebby, hi, Bebby. Hey, how are you, hon? Mickey, Gracie's waitress bringing food out for Gracie. Gracie, no, no, no. Yes, well, that's what happens when Jenny orders you, you know, the entire menu at a truck stop. But, I mean, you know, that's a story for another day. Texas, you know, my son's apartment is 20 minutes north of Dallas. Let me know if you want a place to hang your hat. Oof. Don't tempt me. Joanna, <laughs> don't tempt me. Mine was two weeks ago, Katie. I'm two weeks older than you. Uh, true, true. Um, Gracie thought it was a girl too late. Haha, <laughs> all good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> how do I undo do that? Sorry. <laughs> how do I? Oh. <laughs> I'm always going to highlight the most, in a, in, not inappropriate, but the most awkward comments. <laughs> Beth, I have missed you, girl. <laughs> well, when you get here, you're more than what? Welcome to stay with me. Oh, Angela. I would, I'd love, let, let's talk. Let's talk, 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 talk. Um. Jenny, I've been okay. Bevy, you're in the middle of Canada, aren't you? Like in the like like if this is Canada, let's call it, you know, just this way. You're kind of in the middle from memory. I'm thinking something's whirring around in my head. Um Alberta. Well yeah, that does not help. Let me see if I can Google anything on this phone. Let me see if Google works on here. Safari can't open because you're not in connected to the internet. Well, connect your son of a donkey's uncle. <sighs> connect. Um, kind of in the middle. Mmm. She's closer to the western side of Canada. Bev, I'm a year older than you now. Um, Alberta, Alberta, Alberta. Because I am hoping to maybe get to Canada. Again, as I said, things are sort of so fluid. But I don't know that it's going to be on um, you're right next to i think jeanette jeanette's not far from you saskatchewan i've been practicing are you proud saskatchewan it's just like rolls off the tongue now saskatchewan 
We can go to the mountains if you come. Oh, stop it. Just got a notification that my fave drama channel went live, Grace. <laughs> to be for the drama llama. Wow. Wow. I actually, I can't upset Jenny. I'm renting her corner bedroom at the moment. <laughs> Jeanette, I can't even pronounce that country. <laughs> so... And you near the rock, so you're the near the Rocky Mountains, which is um see after I finished my LA trip, I was kind of like a what do I do next sort of situation. Oh, and there are tours that go up into how far into like Albert or oh, Edmonton, I remember now. I've just um I've just enlarged the map and I remember are you still in Edmonton, right? He's always at his girlfriend, so you'll have to palm it to yourself. And he's a coffee snob, so he's a good stuff. Far out. Right. Bull talk. <laughs> Edmonton. See, my memory is good. My memory is good. Mm. Can you imagine me and Bevy in the same in the same room? Oh, my goodness. Miss, if you want to come, I'll clean my house for you. Oh, she'll clean it just for me. <laughs> you do not have to clean for me, babe. You can visit with the coffee. Yeah, I am hankering for a good coffee. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Like, your your coffee here is too sh – like, I've, I've learnt I don't do any – like, they've put this stuff in here. Hang on, what's this? Well, I'm assuming this is not sweet, but like this half and half stuff, this is in my hotel. However, I've, I've got my things down to a pat because like I don't like to move very, very far without having a coffee first thing in the morning. So the thought of getting up, brushing my teeth, getting dressed and opening my eyes and looking yeah, minusculely human to go downstairs for breakfast and my first coffee is not really tasteful. I did it the first morning, but you know what I did? They've got to go cups so your gracie girl she fills one up with coffee the other one with almond milk wax it in the fridge gets up out of bed goes to pee brushes you know what i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie i don't sit there and brush first thing but then i have my coffee right there right there and i'm thinking i'm implementing this the whole way around tina tina g'day honey I love E-Town, Bev. Mm, thanks, Bev. I had to tell her, just get brewed coffee with soy milk. Uh, anything else you want is going to be sweet. Yeah, it's too sweet. I can't have the sugar levels here are beyond, beyond. Um, the sugar, <laughs> I'm sorry, I sound like I'm, bitching and moaning i'm not it's just observation from this aussie chick yeah it was it's just observation from what i've seen so far portion sizes are like <clears throat> enough to feed my family for one person out here um portion sizes are there the sugar in the sweet stuff is I don't know what your sugar canes have got here, what steroids there you, you spray on them. I have no idea. But let me tell you, I, like, can't do I bought Jenny. Oh, is she still here or is she going to go haunt the, the live? Um, she's watching this other live stream that was hilarious. We were both listening to it the other night. Um, what was it? Ding, ding dongs? And... What was the other thing that I oh, – Twinkies. Twinkies. She ordered a caramel crunch cap from Starbucks and it nearly took out her teeth. Yeah. Yeah. It really did. Um, Alberta may be on the schedule next year. was going to – this year, but my friends just had a baby, so I can't intrude right now. Oh, fair enough. Why was I concerned all over the top? Exactly, Gracie. See why I was concerned over the top in USA. Yeah. You, you weren't wrong, Cheryl. You weren't wrong. It was, and I even, um, 
when I was at the Opry Mills Plaza today, um, when I was walking around, and I went and like there was some amazing. I, I will tell you this, and I didn't, I didn't go in, but there were some amazing eateries there. They had one that was in an aquarium setting, and you would sit, and they had floor to ceiling or you know massive aquariums that you sat in there to eat. Awesome. And then there was another one that was done like a jungle. Anywho, point of the matter being is that I went in and I, I said to them, I said, can you please tell me how big your entree serving and something is? And does everything you have in here have spice? Because everything I read had chili, had this, had that. It was all spice, 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 spice. And it's like between the spice, the sugar, the quantity. I was like, I'm screwed. I'm going to be, anyway, and you know what, I ended, I ended up with a smoothie. That was all I had to eat all day until I got home and I finished off my grits and shrimp. Anyway, that's my food experience though, thus far. The Twinkies are just sugar stuffed with more sugar. I had a Twinkie with Jenny. Jenny, you've got them in the cupboard up there with, with the, were they Ding Dongs, the other ones? I didn't even, I think I was too scared. After Jenny told me they were just as sweet and nutty buddy. There was the other one. I bought three with Jenny. Twinkies, Ding Dongs and Nutty bu nutty Buddies or something like that. Um, I was thinking it was surviving you against pure chemicals. When she told me, I think the Ding Dongs were just as sweet as the Twinkies, I thought, well, I'm out. I can't. I can't just sugar. Um, and then... I thought, okay, the Nutty Buddy, it's a protein bar, yeah? No, apparently not. I thought I was buying something healthy. Apparently not. No, I, I didn't try it because, again, Jenny saves the day and she tells me it's just as sweet as the other two. It's like, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, Twinkies will outlast the apocalypse. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank goodness I only had one because it was a whole box of them. So, but I've done a lot of firsts. I've done a lot of firsts. Um, for those of you, I don't know if I've done a live or not, but you've all seen the tattoo that Jenny, Abigail and I got. So I've got a tattoo. I've had my first, Jenny made a beautiful chicken quesadilla. Yeah, and she made it without the spice for me. So I've had my first chicken quesadilla. Um, I've had a Twinkie, I had grits, I've had key lime pie, what else, oh, hey, oh went to the goat farm, Jenny had a, I mean, we've just done so much. She thought little Debbie Nutty Buddies were like protein bars. You laughing at me, you laughing at me, oh. We're face planting. Oh, yeah. I can't eat too rich with sweet foods. If I have them, I am very ill. Yeah, well, that's how I was feeling. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, I did it again. How do I undo that? Oh, goodness. Oh, oh! I banned Chris! Holy crap! No, Chris! Oh, shit! Chris! How do I undo that? Chris, I am so sorry! Oh. I want to cry! Chris! She's in the, oh, you're there. Oh, I blocked him, but he just, he just commented. Best fix it. Oh. I don't know what that even does, whether it bans people from the channel. Oh my gosh. I felt like it was like that moment in Castaway. <laughs> oh. 
Are you there, Chris? Just, 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 just. We go. I, I should not be doing this. Well, I'm in two minds to maybe go down and get a cocktail. What do you think? At the bar. Bev didn't know. Titanic just hit the iceberg. Hang on. A zinger. Zing zinger um zinger sounds um hot. Is that right? Stop touching things. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll stop touching things. Yeah. Ah, um, oh, Chris is here. Reinstated. Thank goodness. The universe is is correct once more. Um, Gracie, put your hands down and don't touch what you're doing. Okay. Hands are down. Hands are down. Um, watching Titanic, you did that moment. They hit the ice. <laughs> It's it's not hot. It is sweet. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Well, I could handle sweet rather than hot. My comment is highlighted. I'm not what now though. Got these. <laughs> it says remove from stream, but oh. <laughs> All right, there you go. I've got to stop touching things. I can't smurf you again on here, babe. I, I'm going to have to work it out some other way. Well, actually, I don't know if I can. Hang on. Let's see. No. It says to ban you or put you in timeout or star your comment. So I can't. Uh, let's not muck around with it. Have a nice cocktail and rest up. Call me about Dallas. Okay. Sounds like a plan, Sam. She's done tore up the whole YouTube. Who says this? <laughs> oh, hey, Stacey Wazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Ah. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Your mission to get booted out of everything. <laughs> Twinkies only covered in coconut. So if we've got, um, I don't know what you've got here in KFC. I haven't walked into one. I have no intentions of. Back home in KFC, they've got a Zinger burger. But to us, a Zinger burger is spicy. So that's why I automatically thought it was spicy. Get a shot of some Tennessee whiskey. I don't like whiskey. I struggle with the whiskey. Um... Oh, we've just been having some fun, Stace. Um, yeah, no, I'm not. A, I haven't had KFC, and I can't even tell you how long. And I have no intentions of starting it now. I had some fruit the other night. Well, with Jenny, was it just before I was on the phone with Jenny? I mean, on her Jenny's life the other night. I can't remember. Anywho, Charleston tomorrow. I'm pleased to say that I have a direct flight. It's not taking me all the way around. Grace, Grace, have you met any hot men so far? Unfortunately, no. Jenny had one job. That's all I'm saying. Kim's here. Kim got a new groove. A white Russian. <clears throat> um, wait, what do you mean your flight wasn't completely cancelled out like mine from Melbourne to Sydney? Oof. No. Uh, so far, it's going. I've checked in, so my job is to hoard your whore. I'm paying you rent. Have you started that diamond painting, Gracie? I did start it at Jenny's. However, I had to make the executive decision to leave it there because um, I'm going to have to scooch back around anyway because luggage uh, luggage allowances was just not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. 
Well, you're not looking. There's cowboys everywhere. Oh, God, no, what Russia. <laughs> there are cowboys everywhere, Joanna. A lot of them uh, seem to be attached to their cowgirls. That's the thing. Maybe when I get to Texas. Maybe when I get to Texas. Um, we'll see. Maybe by then also I'll have a bit more confidence because I've got to tell you, going out into going down to Broadway, like it was hectic as all get out, and I don't mind sitting, and that's the that's the word, yeah, sitting. I want to be sitting. Okay, you guys are crooked a little bit. Let me just do that. Um, it's annoying me. Um, that was so packed out; it was standing room only, and I kind of. I just felt a bit weirded out standing in a corner or to the side on my own, even if I had a drink in my hand. I was like, eh. Like when you're standing with someone, you want, you know, and I just, this was the first night that I flew in too. So I wasn't, I didn't have the wherewithal to sit there and make small talk with randoms or anything like that. So Alberta is the Texas of Canada. Oh, shut up, Bev. You're killing me. Killing me. You're killing me. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you something for nothing. Cowboy boots are not comfortable. I was all set to go buy me a set of cowboy boots. Honky tonk it up. There's a one of the um, one of the stores here. They actually actually go to my size as well, right? And it's buy one get two free. Bonus prizes, yeah. I'm thinking yes. I can. I can get down with buy one, buy one, get two pairs free, right? I put those dang things on. They're stiff. They're hard. Don't say anything to that. It's We're talking about the boots, people, the boots. And they are so uncomfortable. We're still talking about the boots. I'm just saying. So I'm going to... Um, what I may or may not have spent on boots, I'm just going to get myself a really nice hat. Um, I'm giving that job to Randy and Shay. They can find her a cowboy. Well, she just went, handball. Travelling alone is just plain brave. Uh, it's fun. Yes, it is, Joan. I'm so proud of her and excited for her too. Oh, thanks, guys. You gotta break those babies in cowboy boots on me. Well Yeah. I'm not keen. I'm not sure about South Carolina, but North Carolina apparently everyone gets involved with your conversation. Shocked me when I moved out here, but when there is Oh I've lost my comments. Hang on. That's fun. Okay. Um, Gnome to Cowboy Boots says, Chris, we have a fire station two blocks from our house. <laughs> she remembered. <laughs> oh. Tina, you have one job. <laughs> one. <laughs> they can be repeated, but one job. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to. Toss, strike up, strike on some com Yeah, you have to break them in. The cowboys or the boots, Bev? Which, 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 where are we going? I am too, but we need a tracker on just in case. Line dancing in your future boots take up a while to break like a good guy. I haven't got time, Cheryl. That's the thing. Huh? And like. I'd love to go line dancing. I would love, 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 love to go line dancing. I reckon I'd probably be the only goose in there that wouldn't be in boots. That's the thing. It would be like a little bit embarrassing, you know. But I, I don't know what these establishments are like either. So that's why they are buy one get two free no one wants a pair. <laughs> uh, stiff do you need to work them in as well. <laughs> Goodness me. You didn't get a good pair. Look, they had good pair. Excuse me. They had good pairs there. They were gorgeous. They had the bling bling on them. They were like on point and they were stunning. And then it was kind of like the weight of them. These things are heavy as all get out. 
and it's like oh to buy have three of them I'm already up to four suitcases going home. I'm only allowed two. I've got to pay for two extra. Is that right, Jenny? How many have I got there? I've got the two that I came, plus this is three and four. So, yeah, I'm paying or I'm already paying. Mm. Anyway, I've got a tracker on and Joanna. Yes, she does. Um, you need a nice fireman who can handle his eyes. <laughs> I do, Tracy. I do. Well, these boots, they were $300, $350. The thing is, if you break it down, you get three pairs for that amount of money. So I thought that was pretty okay, considering. I don't know how much cowboy boots normally are, but I thought that was pretty okay. Um... Were you expecting another package today? Mm-hmm. Moving on. Five. <laughs> Did five come to package? <laughs> <laughs> Potentially, possibly, probably, maybe. <laughs> oh goodness me she bought some stuff with you I could have taken the stuff back with me oh. I can still offload some stuff to you Stacey don't worry about that <laughs> hmm let me think about that let me just think about that hmm That's not such a bad idea, girlfriend. It's not. Number six. Six what? What are you talking about? What's six? Um, I'm confused. It's too hot in Texas to be in boots. You would be the only one with... You wouldn't be the only one without boots. just need smooth shoes so they slide. Ooh. So, speaking of... Here I am schlepping these long jeans around with me. I'm reckoning my thought, and I said this to Jenny, I said, I reckon it's going to be too hot for these jeans in Texas. I think I'm going to be right. Um, mm, we'll see. We shall see. Sure, I can see what I can take. What do I see you? Yeah, I got my shoes for $15. That'll mark down from $60. i have got some really good bargains. You may be better off getting shipping all the average. Ridges probably less cost and we'll go to your home. Mm, two big ones, one, two big ones, one carry on size, then the three ones you just got. Yeah, it's and snip. <laughs> um, oh, wait, you bought jeans? Oh no, girlfriend, it's hot in summer wherever you go. Yeah, well. What's your what your boot size? Oh, that sounds wrong. Shorts. Well, I've got shorts. Um, I bought these really cool jeans that I was desperate to wear. Sundress and sandals and ice packs. <laughs> um, I've got two dresses. That's dresses aren't an issue. I was really, really, ask Jenny, she'll tell you. I was really, really, really wanting to wear these jeans. They look so cool. Sundress and sandals and ice packs. Mm -hmm. Robin, g'day, honey. Hello, hello. We're nearly out of time. Can someone please check to see if my girl Beth is going live? Um, because I can't, because if I try and do anything, I'm scared I'm going to throw this whole thing out of whack. Yeah, but you're getting skinnier every day. Um, now that I've started walking around, um, things are moving, I think. Um, the jeans are cute. They really are. Gracie, I think you are in the doghouse with wifey number two. Why, Sherry? 
going to head out to some of hang on what going to head out see some of you soon headed to Christie Ads. ah beautiful have fun have fun Lee thank you so much for setting the table and putting all the sweets out I always love having you around yeah yeah I'm gonna muck it all up um all the stuff says Cherie Sherry oh yeah there's a bit too much stuff a little bit too much just a little bit a little bit no no one could be mad at Grace she's too <laughs> you you mad at me jeans are good in the evening well that's where I, that's when I was planning on wearing them Kim um love you too Chevy um I don't know why I want to say it with a French accent but I just it's probably Sherry right but I just want to say Sherry mon Sherry um that's when I was planning on wearing them, like going out and boot scooting at night, doing some line dancing with whoever wants to come along because I guess the good thing about doing line dancing is you don't need a partner to do it, right? True, true. I might be onto something there. Dang, I should have done that here. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't think it's going to matter um, if Beth is going live or not. I might, I might start saying my good nights. I said it right the first time, so it's Shetty. There is AC. True, 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 true. I might still wear my jeans. I just fell in love with them. Whether they, I, I, I just fell in love with them. And I've got everything that I want to wear with it too. Yeah, but you might find a partner for any slow dance. Oh, amor. My Sherry Amor. Who remembers that song? Joanna, and that's what you're singing, right? I bet you uh, I get striked for that one now. Um, yes, slow dancing. Now you have one job, just one. If he is, you know, a cowboy who has a firefighting position as a part time side job. Bonus prizes. Bye, Helen. Thank you for coming, honey. Um, you know, you, you get a two for one in that. Poor. Imagine the possibilities. Let that sink in just for a little minute, people. A cowboy who has a firefighting side job. Or the other way around. Not fast. Was it Stevie Wonder? I, can't, I couldn't remember. Could not remember. But anywho, people, I am going to start winding it out. I want to say thank you for joining me tonight. I need to go shower, clean up, freshen up. Um set my alarm for tomorrow morning i'm out of here i'm excited i'm excited for charleston i'm excited for south carolina um i really am and given that i'm going i'm getting there early in the morning i'm mm, i'm hoping it would be awesome actually it would be super awesome because i'm getting there early uh, 10 11 mm, no, I don't want to rush it. I'll do that the next day. I want to spend uh, a good amount of time at Boone Hall. Like the tours that I've read the reviews for for Boone Hall, I've read a lot of reviews saying that they rushed them and that they they didn't get the full experience. And so I'm, instead of booking a tour that drives you from Charleston out to wherever the plantation is, I'm actually going to take myself out there and just buy a ticket to go in and just take my time and immerse myself in the place. Um. So I'll probably do that on, what's today? Sunday, tomorrow I fly out. So I'll probably do that Monday. Yeah. Thanks, Robin. Lovely to see you too. Someone shooting off fireworks over Jenny's road. I hear them. Oh, thanks, guys. You couldn't have done it last week when I was there. Gee. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all your well wishes. Thanks, Bev. And look, you know what? I'm, I'm 
fluid. So you never know, Bev, I might be in Ed Edmonton and we can do coffee and drinks, whatever it is. So we'll do the Rockies. Um, you miss, you know, you miss North Carolina. We have the Tyron players from the series Outlander. Yeah. I never watched Outlander, but thank you. <laughs> Come, she says. One who makes you say prayers backward, starting with amen. Oh, my grace, stay safe. I will stay safe. I'm being the safest that I can. My two wives have me on literally tracking. It's um, literally. And that's something that I asked if they would be happy to do um, for me while I was here. So they literally see literally my movements down to which shoe shop I'm in. Um, but that's for my safety. I've got my wives here and I've got two girlfriends back home also on that, on that, so that they, everyone's got eyes on me, uh, and they can see exactly what's happening. So Wallace, oh, Wallace, that's so super cute. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Wherever you are in your part of the world, Canada, UK, Australia, the US, wherever you are in your part of the world, look after yourselves, look after each other and have each other's backs. It is so, so super important. Until I see you all next time, Mwah. bunches of love and ciao, ciao for now, guys. Mwah. I'll see you next week.